Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and this is Fabio's Kitchen where every week I'm bringing you a simple dish made by me. Chicken pot pie, a holiday favorite, but you can also have that as a great Sunday supper. Now making chicken pot pie is very easy, but I suggest you, like I did right here, to just buy store-bought puff pastry. Buying your own puff pastry is a nightmare, guys. Don't do that. Making it from scratch, not an option. Buying it, a lot less expensive and a lot less time consuming. All right, to layer the flavor for a good pot pie, you need a large saute, something like this. We're not gonna use cream, but we're gonna need a lot of butter, all right? Lots of butter there. We're gonna have sage in it. We're gonna have carrots. We're gonna have celery. And we're gonna have onion. What I'm gonna do here, I am caramelizing the celery, the carrots, and the onion. Give it a good caramelization. It's a very important for layering the flavor. This is like the holy trinity. If we were in the southern of like Louisiana region or Georgia, pepper, carrots, and celery, or pepper, celery, and onion, that's what they call the holy trinity for a good gumbo. And while chicken pot pie is clearly not traditional Italian, carrot, celery, and onion are traditionally one of the most boosting flavoring agents than any person can do at the beginning of a dish. All right, so now I got some chicken here and I have a little bit of flour. The chicken is already mixed with flour. Now, for chicken pot pies, I like to use dark meat. We're gonna saute the meat, we're gonna cook it with broth, then we're gonna bake it, cover it, steam it, stew it. You need dark meat. White meat for chicken pot pie, it's a little push in the envelope there because it might come out dry, all right? So dark meat is really what you need here. Now let me get the chicken inside. There. Now I also have peas, fresh peas, or frozen peas. They work the same, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna feel the difference. But I'm not gonna add my peas until my chicken is completely cooked. Now we're gonna let the chicken caramelize a little bit like that for about two, three minutes. And then we're coming back. All right, guys, look, nice caramelization on the chicken. Now peas goes inside. Broth. Somebody use cream, I like broth. So what I got here is simple. Got some beef broth, I got a lot of butter. Now, three minutes. We're gonna let this reduce just like that. Add a little pinch of salt. Add a little peel of pepper. Your perfect chicken pot pie will be ready in no time. All right, guys, here's the most important things. The sauce, see how thick it's getting? Look, see that? That's a perfect consistency for a pot pie. 
because it's not going to steam, it's going to get thicker and thicker. All right, here's how you build a proper pot pie. You get your chicken there. There. Make sure you get the juices. Just like that. You get your puff pastry. Now, some people would probably um, cut it perfectly. I don't. I'm gonna tuck it in, because the more puff pastry I get, the happier I am. And the one thing you wanna do now is to make some incision like this. So at least you release the steam in it. Now we're gonna get this in the oven. And then once the crust is flaky and golden brown, we're gonna take it out. And in its all glory, we have a magic pie. Look at these things, people. And by people, I mean you. Look at this. It's glorious. Chicken pot pie, chicken pot pie. I mean, seriously, people? You wanna hear the sound of success? You wanna hear the sound of success? Listen. Flaky crust. Delicious! Okay. Whoops. So damn hot. Fabio Viviani, traditional American dish, chicken pot pie. Instead of Fabio's kitchen, we could call this international kitchen. Damn is hot. God. Oh. Ah, so f***ing hot. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, roll, Lord. All right. I lost my train of thought, so we'll just shut the episode down. Chicken pot pie, though. Look at this thing. Woo! It's really hot. Oh. Hey, guys. Since you have been watching now, how about you go share it with everybody you know? Come on. Thank you.